Don't miss the opportunity that this time affords you for the sanctifying work of the Spirit in your life. You've been chosen and scattered as seed among lost people for this very purpose. That God would accomplish his work in scattering the seed and in sanctifying your life. And then thirdly, that you would live a life of obedience to Jesus Christ. That's his goal in choosing and scattering you, in doing a work of sanctification in your life, that those who are witness to your life would see the life of one who lives in obedience to Jesus Christ. The call is to obedience. If we go to the Great Commission, what does it mean to be a Christ follower? It means that we are learning to obey everything that Jesus has commanded us. That's Matthew 28, verse 20. Being a Christ follower means that we're learning to obey everything that Jesus has commanded us. So this should inform our time of life today. It should inform our time of sitting down and reading the scriptures. That when we sit down and read the scriptures, that we should be asking the question, what does, what does God's word require? And then answering the question with obedience. Peter calls us to obedience with the assurance of cleansing. Uh, Peter knew what it was to fall short in obedience. He denied the Lord three times in the public square. But on the shores of Galilee, the risen Christ assured Peter of forgiveness and restoration, calling him again to a life of obedience. And so Peter assures us that we have an obedience that is coupled with the sprinkling of Christ's blood. That sprinkling of blood, he uses an analogy or a picture from the Levitical priesthood where the blood of the lamb was sprinkled for the cleansing from sin. And the promise of God is that if we confess our sin, if we confess our falling short of God's intended purpose, of falling short of his glory, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. <clears throat> 